Yes. It is quite extraordinary what a major role European scholars and explorers played in the rediscovery of the Indian cultural heritage. These uh, men came from many countries of Europe. They came from England, of course, with the English connection, from France, from Germany, from Hungary, it is, uh, and from, the, from Russia and many other countries. They were people who dedicated their entire lives to exploring and rediscovering the tremendous heritage uh, of uh, the East. And the two uh, people whose footsteps uh, our friend has followed were really quite extraordinary. Alexander studying in Tibet, in greater, greater India, and in the Asiatic society. And uh, uh, in fact, he is correctly known as the father of modern Tibetology. The work that he did, uh, this must have been in the middle of the 19th century. And uh, he finally, he passed away, I believe, in the Asiatic society. He spent his entire life. The dedication and devotion which these people had and the way they uh, followed the inner spirit of exploration is quite amazing. Sir Aurel Stein, uh, whose 50th death anniversary is being observed, is also a great scholar. In fact, we have a link with him because he translated Kalhana's great work. Uh, India, as you know, has produced many the ancient Sanskrit is the Raja Tarangi, the River of Kings by Kalhana. And that is the story, the first person to translate that Raja Tarangini into English. I have a copy of it in my library in Jammu. And he also made the catalog <coughs> of the manuscript library that we have in our family temple in Jammu. In my grandfather's time, uh, he was specifically invited to prepare this uh, uh, annotated catalog. And he prepared it in two volumes, the catalog of the Sri Raghunath Mandir Library in Jammu. So he, these are people, not merely uh, uh, historical figures, but people with whom we feel a great sense of identity. And I would like on this occasion to pay a tribute to these two remarkable Hungarian-born uh, scholars, explorers, and uh, 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 men of great courage and great vision, whose work will always remain a source of inspiration to coming generations of explorers. Now, one such uh, person who has been uh, greatly influenced uh, and uh, greatly exhilarated by these people is our Lithuanian-born uh, Paulius Normantas. Is that correct? Is that the correct pronunciation? Sounds more Greek than Lithuanian to me. Right? No, no, Greek. Uh, Sanskrit. 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 <laughs> and uh, he has uh, been for the last, what, 10 or 15 years, he's been traveling throughout the Himalayas. He was, he was born in the Himalayas in his last life. He may not know it. But the fact of the matter is, uh, he has uh, come here because of uh, some, what we would call a samskar. Samskara means an impression from a past life. And in any case, he has been exploring the entire Himalayas. Uh, he's been exploring in, in, uh, in India, he's been exploring in Pakistan, he's been exploring in, in, in Tibet, he's been exploring in various parts of the Himalayas. And he's been doing a lot of work on the different peoples of the Himalayas. It is a mistake to think that the Himalayas are inhabited by a homogeneous population. It is not true. There are dozens of different languages spoken. There are dozens of ethnic types in the Himalayas. And part of the work of, uh, um, of uh, the Koros and, uh, and uh, Oriel Stein was in this field of uh, anthropology, of philology, of linguistics, of archaeology, and uh, of the various elements that go to making of a civilization. So we have a very interesting and a very fine collection of photographs, which I'm sure all of you will enjoy uh, seeing. And when I was invited to come, I thought that, uh, uh, particularly as Sir Aurel Stein had done the catalog for my library, 
I owed a psychic debt to him, a spiritual debt, a karmic debt, to come here on this occasion and to congratulate the Hungarian Embassy and the Cultural Center for what they are doing. I was here, I remember, two years ago for the Elizabeth Brunner exhibition. And uh, it's uh, remarkable that a small country like Hungary, comparatively small, has ha produced so many people with a special interest in India. I have great pleasure in inaugurating this exhibition and in congratulating the organizers and sponsors of this event. Thank you. A Nahár Hajtó Expedíció nevében nagy tisztelettel köszöntöm Normantes Paulius Balog Rudolf Díjas fotoművészt. Mit kell tudni Normantes Pauliustól? Ez nehéz válaszolni. A nézőknek kell tudni ezt a, ez a kérdésre válaszolni. Mit kell tudni? Húsz éve élek Magyarországban, és már volt tíz Himalaj úton. Tíz Himalaj expedíció megtörtént tavaly, és 12-13 Ázsia országban dolgoztam eddig, és valószínűleg több mint 100-120 kis nemzetiséggel is éltem, és ezek kis népeket is fotoztam. Többi között az első téma volt a finugor népek. Ez még volt a szibériai finugor népek. Korvina kiadó 90-ben kiadta egy albumot, Apadó farások címmel, és azóta kicsit cseréltem a témát, és 89 óta csak buddhista országokkal foglalkozom, az az első volt Tibet, és az utolsó tavaly, még novemberben, 03-ban dolgoztam Laoszba. És ezzel befejeztem a nagy projektet, Robert Kapa emlékkiállítást befejeztem fotózni, és idén, a április 22-án Niretházon volt első bemutató. Első kiállításom a Robert Kapanok. Thank <laughs> you. 